In this video, we're going over how to install an SD card on your Samsung Galaxy A01 and some helpful tips as well. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to walk you through installing your SD card on your Samsung Galaxy A01 and kind of show you some cool tips on how to use it and how to set your phone up to make the most of having a memory card in it. Before we get started, I wanted to show you guys in the description of the video below. Just tap on this little arrow next to the title. You will see a link that says you need this for your Samsung Galaxy A01. In this link here, we will have some recommendations of memory cards. Today we're going to be installing this 256 gig card, which we got for $44 on Amazon. You can also get a 128 gig card for about $21 and we'll have those links in that description section. This phone can go up to a 512 memory card, so anything bigger than that, it won't accept it. So, SIM tray is going to be on the right side. Find the box of the phone, you will have a SIM tool inside of it. If you can't find this, just use a paper clip and be very careful. You're gonna just push to pop the tray out. Okay, so once you insert a memory card, you will see a pop-up or you should get a notification in notification panel. So we're gonna swipe down from the top. At the bottom here, we have a message that says SD card inserted. Tap here to transfer media files. So tap on that. Now as a quick disclaimer, um, if you plug in a memory card that you have previously used on a different phone, you may get a message saying that it's not compatible and you may need to format that memory card. Be aware, if you do format the memory card, it will erase what you currently have on the memory card. Uh, so, Sometimes when you move a card from other phones that's not a Samsung brand, it will ask you to do that. So think twice before you format because you may erase important data. So make sure you've taken what's important off that memory card before you hit that format button, just as an FYI. So essentially tapping that option took us here to the file manager where we can move files to this memory card. We're not gonna do this just yet. Um, the first thing I wanted to do was just install the memory card, which we have done. Now the second thing I want to show you is how to set up your camera so whenever you take pictures or video they automatically will go to the memory card. So we're going to go to our camera option and the first thing it will ask you is to change your storage location to your SD card. You're going to press OK. It's going to create a separate folder in your gallery now. So let's take one picture just so you can see. Okay, so if we go to our gallery, you'll now have two folders. One is gonna be the normal camera folder, and you'll see there's a little icon next to the camera on this new folder. This is the new folder that all your pictures will now be saved to, and it's the memory card folder. So if you ever take the memory card out, it'll begin to save pictures back on the internal storage, just as an FYI. Okay, so that's important. Now our pictures and video will go to the memory card and they won't take up space on your internal storage, so that's done. And finally, we're gonna show you how to move your existing pictures and videos over to your memory card so you can free up space on your phone. Go to your gallery. From here, you'll have your, again, camera folder, and this is your new folder that has all your memory card pictures. So tap on camera and we can select one or all of these pictures and create a folder now on the memory card. So let's hold down on a, one picture so that will select one and allow you to select more. You can hit all. If you just wanna take all the pictures and videos in one shot, you can just hit that all button. And this picture right here, or this video, you'll see it's a video because it has a number at the bottom that shows you how long it is. So. We're selecting all of the pictures at one time, tapping on the three dots here, and we're going to select move to album, and then we're gonna tap on the plus, and we're gonna create a new album, and we're just gonna call this um, K1. 
cam picks on memory. Or you can just say it on M card. Now at the bottom, it'll say location. We wanna tap the drop down arrow and tap SD to make sure this folder is created on the memory card. Hit create. And now it's gonna move all these pictures and videos over to the memory card, thus freeing up some of your internal space on the phone. And if we go back, now you'll see you have just your camera folder and your new folder we just created with all the pictures we moved to the memory card. So this is how you move all the pictures and videos over. So now they are saved onto the memory card. Again, this frees up your space and now every picture you take will only be moved to the memory card. Now I wanna share one more little tip that I think will be helpful for you guys as well. Uh, memory cards are great, but if you lose your phone, a memory card is not gonna help you because all your photos will be lost. So as a backup precaution, I would encourage you to go home, swipe up and go to your Google folder and tap on photos. Now in the Google Photos app, you can set up your phone to back up all of your pictures so that if you ever lose your phone, they'll always be available online. So what you're gonna do is, the first time you open this app, it should ask you if you wanna set up auto backup. Here, it says backup is off. Just simply tap on turn on backup. Now again, this is if you didn't select this before. Um, so anyway, this is the pop-up screen you'll see. Make sure you are on this option here, high quality, free unlimited storage. This will allow you to back up as many pictures as you want um, without your storage filling up, your online storage. We're gonna tap confirm. Now, one other option here is if you are on an unlimited data plan, I would tell you to tap this option, which is backup over cell phone data when there's no Wi-Fi if you're on an unlimited data plan. Because what happens is, uh, if you don't select this, your phone will only back up your photos if you are on Wi-Fi. If you don't have Wi-Fi, then your photos will never get backed up and thus this won't help you. So make sure that if you are on a plan where your data is unlimited, you select this, so then your photos will always be backing up to the cloud, even if you're not on Wi-Fi. If you're not on an unlimited data plan, then don't check this, but make sure you do connect to Wi-Fi frequently so your photos and videos are backed up. We're gonna hit confirm. And now it's gonna to begin to back up all of your pictures uh, from your phone to the online storage. And you can access these pictures whenever you want on the website photos.google.com. You'll sign into your Gmail account and then you'll see every picture and video you've ever taken on this phone backed up to the cloud. I've been using this service for probably 10 years across over 20 phones and I've never lost a picture because I always back up to the online storage for Google. So make sure you do that. That's a pro tip that's gonna just help you save all those important pictures and videos. That's the end of our video guys. Hope you found this helpful. Leave us a comment down below if it was helpful. Hit that like button, favorite, and share the video, and stay tuned for more. Also, check out these other helpful videos. You're gonna love it. They're gonna help you to maximize on your phone as well. Take care, and as always, have a good one.